hi you guys and welcome back to my channel so literally i did my friend's hair before her flight at 2 35 a.m with none of my tools so stay tuned to see the look <music> This wig, I already went ahead. It was already customized out a little bit with the Nair technique. If you guys want to see how I do that technique, definitely click the link above. But I'm just going in on the sides and just thinning out this temple area. This um, Because I wanted to make it look a bit more natural. For this look, I didn't want it to be too over plucked. I wanted the hairline to look a bit more full. So I'm just pulling out a few hairs from the direct front of the hairline. You guys know I usually part it out. But for this method, I didn't because I didn't necessarily want to thin it out. I just wanted to go ahead and make that front a little bit thinned so I remain a full type of look. And here I am just showing you to make sure you use the pointed part of the tweezers to pull the hair out. And now I'm going in with the Bold Hold X Tailored Crowns Lace Tint in the shade Caramel. And I'm just spraying that on this lace to match my client perfectly. I literally use no makeup for this install. And as you guys can see, the difference between the lace in the front and the back. And look at all of these tweezers my friend had. Literally have to be prepared. So I'm going in with some stork scissors. These are the scissors that um, have a zigzag shape, kind of like when we were in grade school. And it's just gonna cut that lace and make everything irregular. And I'll just show you that lace now. It's a very irregular cut. Like I said, I didn't have any more of my tools. What's up? So I literally couldn't do, you know, my full technique. And now I'm just using the hot comb to go ahead and just comb that hairline back and just make everything look really nice. So as always, I'm using my 91% alcohol to clean the hairline and I'm using the Bold Hold Skin Protect. How cute was the mini bottle? So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this wig directly on her head just to make sure everything matches and to see also where this glue will be going down because I did cut this beforehand I want to make sure everything is exact and it matches up nicely and I just want to give you guys a closer look so that you can see this lace literally matched perfectly and I'm just going in with my Bold Hold Max and I'm just brushing that all along her hairline to where the lace will be laying. Like I said, I went ahead and just placed her wig down beforehand so I can see where I'm going to be placing this glue. And with this glue, you just want to go ahead and brush on a nice even amount and you can let that sit for a minute or so and then go back in with another layer and you can do up to three to four layers. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and lie this lace down directly into the glue. And with this, I'm just grabbing it by the hair and I'm just kind of aiding it with my fingers along the lace to make sure everything is just falling where it needs to be. Because with this glue, you don't get too many chances to, you know, go in and try to fix your mistakes because this glue is a lot more stronger and tacky and a little bit more messy than the normal glue and i'm going in now with my rat tail comb just to comb this lace down into the glue as i always do in my videos just to make sure everything is nice and meshed down and this perfect technique with this comb for this glue because it's going to help so that you don't get any of those hair strands stuck into the lace through with the glue And as always, make sure you tie that lace down with a scarf to just go ahead and set it. And I just did this for about five or so minutes just to make sure everything is really nice and meshed down. And then I'll show you guys, look how perfect this looks, you guys. I'm absolutely in love. Do not mind the Airbnb in the background. Like I said, this was like at 2 a.m. and she was leaving for our flight, but I wanted to do her hair for her birthday. So comment down below and tell her happy birthday. And I just wanted to go ahead and get her right before her little flight. So don't mind the background. But definitely let's admire this lace, period. And now 
I'm just going in with the comb and I'll just be combing out a little piece of the hair that, that ended up stuck in the glue anyways. So when I went ahead and tied it down and I'm also flipping it up for the gram because I loved this look so much. So I just took a few videos and pictures, which I always do. You know I love your install if I have to stop and take pictures. But yes, you just want to go ahead and just make sure you comb that baby hair out so nothing is stuck down into that glue. So now I'm just going to go back in with the hot comb and just comb everything back and make sure everything is really nice and flesh like I always say at the hairline making sure everything is really nice and flat and natural. So I just wanted to go ahead and take off some length of this hair just to make a different type of look. I didn't want to keep the long hair. I wanted to cut it shorter, but she didn't want to go too short. So I'm just going ahead and point cutting the ends and just taking some of this length off for the style that I'll be doing. And the style I'll be doing is just some nice beach waves, like the curls with the straight ends. And I'm just going in with a flat iron and literally everything that I'm using was none of my own tools because I had brought nothing to Miami with me. But I'm just going in and curling those and then flat iron the ends and I'll just do that in different th directions throughout the hair to get a nice messy curled look. So now on to the baby hairs. I'll be going in with some scissors first off to cut that baby hair and I'm just going in and cutting that about an inch or so and then I'll cut the sideburns as well and then I'll be taking some ORS mousse and this was the olive oil mousse which I was using on my real edges and can I say loved it for my real edges um but I'm just going in with a little bit of this and I'll just be swooping that back so I'm just taking my comb and also putting the excess in the back and just making sure everything, you know, is tamed. There's really no fire waste. Everything has a nice neat appearance. And like I say, I always go in and I just comb the baby hairs out and then back into the hairline. And I'll always go back in afterwards and cut them with my scissors to make them a bit shorter and make them natural. Because I always say I hate when like baby hairs are too long because they look too wiggy. So now to define this part, I'll be going with some L'Oreal root touch up or root cover up and I'll just be taking the end of the metal tip rat tail comb and just laying that down on that part and then I'll just go ahead and give that a few sprays, sorry for the thing staying out of focus and you know just really clean up that part and make everything look nice and straight. Now I'm going in with some spritz and then literally everything you see is so funny because everything is like a small tester size but I'm just going ahead and spraying that all over the curls and then I'll just use my hands to just go ahead and finger comb those curls out and this is the final look I was absolutely in love with this look I definitely will probably do this look on myself this look is also really great for the holidays because of like the burgundy color and then it's pretty much easy to maintain Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, definitely let me know how this hair turned out in your opinion. Literally, I was in Miami. I had none of my tools, nothing. No. I really brought nothing because I didn't wear a wig to Miami. I wore um, like sewing with micro links. So, I really had none of my tools. But let me know down below if you guys think I did a good job. This was definitely a different technique with me doing everything, like, you know, cutting the lace beforehand and everything. So I um, really enjoyed the way that this came out. It looked really natural. Um, I get the same results, like, with my normal technique. And this is just the close-up of the hairline. And then this is it in dark light.
Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.